Before we get started on the new sim rig that I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes that I've been testing out for the last couple months, this video is brought to you by GTR Simulator. If you guys are needing a new sim rig, look no further with small stands, bigger stands, portable stands, even the new RS30 Ultra wheel and pedal set that's now available at gtrsimulator.com. If you guys have any questions, give them a call at 888-9-GTR-SIM. That's gtrsimulator.com. Now, stay tuned for the new sim rig. Here it is, the GTA Pro Model sim rig, brought to you by gtrsimulator.com. First off, if you guys are needing a new sim rig, go check out GTR Simulator today. With all the new sim rigs out on the market, hundreds available, how many can you say they can ship out the next day? Not only that, they will even sell you a GTR uh, RS30 Ultra wheel and pedal set that's now available through uh, GTR Simulator. would like to go through a couple things with this new sim rig that they gave me uh, to test out here. This is a GTR Pro model, uh, fully adjustable sim rig. One of the best out on the market for the price. Uh, you really can't beat it. The uh, triple monitor mount that can be mounted literally right on the stand itself. You have room for vents. This is ran by a direct drive wheel and base uh, by AccuForce. V3 pedals down here. Um, also was able to put in my own uh, vents in here and everything else to accommodate for cooling aspect during the race. So, to kind of go through this for you really quick, the Will, uh, the base for the pedals are fully adjustable. There's a lever right here that you can literally tap with your foot that can make this pedal move back and forth very easily. That is one of the best features I think this base has, um, beside a couple more that are pretty close to it that are uh, really nicely adjustable. This right here can be adjusted. This whole base can be adjusted and tilted downward or upward, depending on how you would want it. The uh, uh, it can be lifted up higher or dropped down lower. The seat is even adjustable forward and back and you can even recline it. Not too many sim rigs out there you can say that you can recline your seat as you're driving. So that's something that GTR goes a little bit above and beyond than most companies. They don't um, uh, just offer the basic, they give you a little bit extra. Not only that, their customer service at GTR Simulator, if you're needing a a part or anything else that uh, that may have broken on yours, you're moving in and it broke or something, whatever, you just got to give them a call. Um, email them. They'll get back to you really quick and they'll be quick to respond and get you taken care of. Uh, my, my thoughts about the new GTR sim rig, much better. These guys uh, went, up, went all out on it. Um, this is a one of the better sim rigs for the money. You look at some of these other sim rigs that are 80 20 rigs that have you know you can put two thousand dollars into it pretty quick this one you're going to have less than that way less than that not only that this comes with a, a tray mount for your keyboard if you wanted it to i don't use a key mount or a keyboard mount because i have my uh, stand that sits right next to me that i have my fan my keyboard my mouse uh, cell phone i keep right there tablet for telemetry and everything while i'm racing um, but uh, one thing that I've noticed on this sim rig over the last sim rig that I had before this was the, the stability of the base itself. This thing rarely moves. If it does, I don't notice it while I'm racing. The pedals work out great for the adjustability. Not only that, as you can tell, this thing doesn't even move. Even under load with my force feedback on this AccuForce wheel and base, it does not offer anything. Now, I was able to upgrade the wheel itself to a 350 millimeter wheel versus the stock wheel that Acuforce came with. That made a little bit of a difference. Um, and I was worried about the height, if I was gonna have to hire this or lower it, but there's plenty of room on this. And of course, again, plenty of adjustability on this sim rig. So if you needed to adjust something, you can. It even accommodates well with these um, Derek Spears uh, button boxes here. Um, these things are nice to have to, for your telemetry and everything else. You can change it on the fly here. You can start it up, shut it off, um, do all sorts of stuff with this thing. And if you notice, going in the corners, this thing doesn't even move. And if it does, you don't even notice it on, on 
while you're driving whatsoever. This is on a track I don't know, so I'm going to crash here. Make some people mad there. <laughs> so again, with this uh, this new sim rig that they've developed over the last couple of years and, and have uh, been really showing it off to a lot of people, wide enough screens that you can put a 43 inch screen on this. I have a 24. I was thinking about even going up to a 27. If you want the screens a little bit larger and further back, they come with the mounts, so this, this can be moved to the mounts, that way they can be pushed back a little bit further. Um, putting this thing together, they already have it put together for you. For the most part, there are going to be some pieces you're going to have to put together, but it's not. All the screws are, for the most part, already put in place, ready to go. All you got to do is just start assembling it. It took me an hour and a half, two hours to put this thing together. Um, and I've been beating the heck out of it for the last month and a half. And it, it seems like I'm becoming more and more comfortable on this sim rig as I go along. And, uh, and what I mean by that is the seat, it, it's molded to me. Um, I'm a big boy, I'm not, I'm not a skinny guy by any means, uh, but it fits so nice. I'm about 225, 510, and this can accommodate a six foot four, six foot five, I bet, um, 300 pound man. You can put your own seat on there if you want. So if you don't want the seat, you can build, you can put your own seat on there. I recommend getting the seat for the cost of this seat. It's well worth it. Um, I've raced on other seats where they're non-adjustable, they're actual racing seats. And if you don't have the right insert put in it or something else, it becomes uncomfortable. You can't adjust the, the lean back position whatsoever, and unless you put tracks on it, there's no way to adjust the forward and back position. GTR gives you those with the seat, makes it so much easier. Um, matter of fact, this was the most difficult part about the Simric putting it together, was putting on the seat. There's very uh, small spaces to work with when you're putting the seat on, but that's the nature of the beast with Simrics. Other than that, plenty of room for wire management. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. I love this sim rig. I think this sim rig has a lot more capability to it. I can add a four screen to it if I wanted to. I can add, put on the keyboard mount if I wanted to, but I'd rather have my table sitting right here. Um, other than that, there's no complaints that I've had out of this sim rig since I've got it. Um, the uh, Nothing has came loose. Nothing is uh, loose enough to where I got to retighten it. Once it was tightened up, it stayed there. That's a one big benefit to some sim rigs that over time the vibrations moving the wheel and stuff, you got to retighten up stuff. But for a month and a half that I've had this, there's been no wrenches uh, put towards it to tighten anything up. Um, they give you everything you need in the box to put it together. The only thing you got to do is put it together. Now mounting everything to the rig, some people might ask, what did I have to do? Did I have to drill any holes? On the pedals, um, I don't think I drilled any holes on that. On the base, I did have to drill holes. I also have custom mounts for this AccuForce that I was going to use with it, but it actually brought the wheel up too high and it just wasn't right, so I mounted it flush to the stand itself. It did have to draw, or drill the holes. It was very simple. It took me about 15 minutes and it was done. Um, this thing was ready to race um, after I had it sitting here and transferred everything over within an hour. I had all my wheels and pedals and everything. The, the transition from the old sim rig to this one was a lot easier than I thought and uh, was very impressed with them. Not only that, the adjustability on this rig is uh, top notch with the fact that you can adjust this right here to tilt it. You can bring it further in, further back. Um, you can go height, you can bring it up higher. There's just so many different adjustabilities on this rig that that's what I was saying. It can probably accommodate a six foot, six, six foot five inch guy or woman, whatever you are, um, to sit on this rig. That's the nice thing about it. Um, not only that, again, if you ever need adapter, adaption to it, put something else on there, parts for it, anything else, all you have to do is call up gtrsimulator.com. Um, that phone number, by the way, 888-9-GTR-SIM. So if you're needing a new sim rig, if you have a camper, if you're a truck driver, you stay in hotels, they have a wheel and pedal set 
that you can get for under 500 bucks, I think it is right now, and a stand for your wheel and pedals, just a portable stand uh, that you can take with you. So that way, when you're camping or something like that, if you're if you're at the racetrack, say if you're at IMS and you're camping out for the weekend, Daytona or something like that, and you want to race still, you can do it with the GTR simulator. Get out, buy that new RS30 Ultra wheel and pedal set. Um, it's a gear-driven wheel, dual gear-driven wheel, designed by racers, tested by racers, now sold to our, us iRacers. So it's a, it's a great deal. Um, so you've got to check them out. If you need that new sim rig, you want parts, you need something else, give them a call. You have ideas, email them. Um, Ray down there at GTR Simulator is great. That phone number, 888-9-GTR-SIM. That's gtrsimulator.com. Thanks for watching. If you need anything else, leave a comment. Like this uh, video if you would, please. Thank you. Have a good day.